Southampton, a team that has been in the Premier League since the 2012-2013 season. The best finish they've had since then, sixth place, which is pretty good. But what would this team have become if they kept all their best players from throughout the years? That is the question we are going to be answering today. We've done this with Chelsea. We've done this with Manchester United. I'll try to leave those two links in the top right-hand corner if you want to check those out after this video. But today, we're going to be bringing back the Southampton team. Players like Van Dyke, Mane, so many others. This is going to be fun. And if you don't know how this series works, here is what we're going to do. First, we are going to see in a career mode simulation how the current Southampton team would finish this year in FIFA 20 in the Premier League. We're going to do that with their current team. We're going to chop their top, uh, track their top goal score where they finish in the Champions League. Yes, that's right. We're going to put them in the Champions League, even though they're not in the Champions League. We're going to see how they finish in the Premier League and the FA Cup. And then after we do that with the current team, we are going to take the team of all of their best players and do the same and see how much better or who knows man potentially worse i don't think it's gonna happen but we're gonna see how they do then if you guys go on to enjoy today's video leave a big old thumbs up follow me on instagram for fifa content over there and follow me for live streams over on caffeine.tv link to that on the screen top um or bottom of the description yeah somewhere in the description boys and with that here is their current team it is very 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 underwhelming to be fair though right now currently as i'm recording this video they're ninth in the premier league so like there may not be any superstar players on this club i mean you see 71 attack 76 midfield 76 defense not great by any means of the imagination but yo boys they have themselves nine wins in the prem which is not bad they're top 10 the rest of their squad looks as follows you could see some decent young players but um for the most part man they have gotten rid of a lot of superstar players that have gone on to do big things in their career and for whatever reason they seem to sell so many of their players to liverpool so yeah this is not the team you wanted to see but we just kind of want to do a transformation right here all right in the snap of a finger boys we are going to show you the current team right here and we are going to switch it on over to the team of players if they had kept all their superstars so let's do that in three two one and just like that it is magic here is your current not current here's your former southampton team had they not let go of all of their superstar talent boys the team is honestly pretty insane with players such as mane gareth bale tadich chamberlain lalana like i said so many former liberal or current liverpool players on this team toby aldervoyeld the current spurs center back and it gets even better from there we got luke shaw at left back 81 rated makes him one of the better fullbacks in the premier league currently today we got theo walcott who i feel like has played for just so many premier league clubs in general dejan lovren yet another liverpool star 80 rated doesn't make the starting 11 but he's gonna be um probably a pretty decent super sub for this team moving forward on the bench we don't have as many players we got von G uh, von Yama. we have schneiderlin who else do we got rodriguez down here as well um ward prow should probably be up here on the reserves let's throw him up there and to be fair that's it we have the current spurs center back another former player for southampton let me know in the comment section have i missed anyone big I don't think I have, but I definitely could have missed someone big. Pele as well. I forgot to mention him up front at the striker position, and it's going to be tough. His rating is probably going to decline a lot in this video as he's 34 years old. You know, we could maybe go and start Ings up there, but the CPU will do what they want in the career mode simulations. Lalana, Oxley, Chamberlain there in the midfield. Two more Liverpool players. It's just crazy, man. Does someone know? I'm sure there's a reason why they sell so many players to Liverpool, but I'm just completely unaware of it. Tadic is um, over, I believe, with Ajax now in the Netherlands. Very versatile player. Can play Cam, left wing, striker. And if we back out to the menu right here, we can see 83 attack, 80 midfield, and 81 defense which is pretty good compared to some of the other Premier League teams. Yes, they aren't the greatest, but yo, look at this. Let's compare them to United, man. Oh boy. I mean, yeah, I think they could be contesting United. Maybe not Man City. I mean, Liverpool now as well. I guess you can make a case because they have taken Mane from Liverpool and they have taken Van Dyke. You couldn't make a case that Southampton is going to be doing better than Liverpool this year. All right, so first, what we are going to do is go into this first manager mode again with the current in real life Southampton team. We are going to see how they do, which probably isn't going to be too great. 
let's make sure let's see what rating they are four star again isn't bad let's get into this put them in the champions league sim the season and we'll get you the results a few moments later well this isn't good news terminated with southampton let's hope this doesn't happen when we actually go on to manage the team of past players Finish mid-table was what they wanted us to do, so that is going to mean we're probably towards the bottom if I had to guess. RIP, let's see who we're managing next. We didn't even get a Premier League offer. That actually that actually ruins everything in this, because we can't check the top goal score. Oh, this game. This game is just so annoying. One hour later. All right, this episode is literally just turning into how many times can you get sacked in a season? Now we're out at Charlton. Who are we going to get next? Like, this is ridiculous. I should have turned on some of the uh, FIFA mods so that this didn't happen. We're just moving down the leagues here. We started the Prem Championship. Now we're in League One. I could see us freaking getting relegated here down to League Two. This Has this ever happened before? Anyone? Two hours later. This is ridiculous. Oh, my God. A am I setting a world record here? Is this the most times a manager has ever been sacked in a season? What is it? One, two. Th this is a four fourth, third. I'm, I'm running. Like, I'm literally losing count right now. Though. This is the third time we've been sacked. Bury, they're not even a club anymore, are they? Like, what the hell is going on right now? Are we going to move down to League 2? I'm going to guess we're probably going to move down to League 2. Oh, Chinese League. Okay, well, at least we can't get relegated there. Avoid finish in the bottom part of the league. We started in the Premier League, and we've somehow worked our way to the freaking Chinese League. What is this? Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. All right. By some miracle, we have not been sacked in this Chinese league team. All right. We are going to have problems here because I don't know how we're going to get some of these stats. I guess first we can look at the Premier League, right? All right. Premier League, Southampton. Where are we at? Okay. Yep. This game is just completely broken. How does a team have 167 points? Oh my god. Okay, this has just been the strangest episode. Sacked three times. Four, three. Bros, I'm literally losing count. Sacked a billion times. Man City finishes on 54 wins. The Premier League doesn't even have that many games. What does Southampton finish on? <laughs> okay, 54 points. Yo, that's actually like, I mean, of course, they played way too many games. Do, what do we even do with this? Like, this is this shouldn't count as a legit attempt. This should not count as a legit attempt. All right, I, I'm going to keep this in because I just think it's so funny. I'm not going to edit any of this out. Let me go back, resim the season, turn on mods so that I don't get sacked. We'll be right back with the actual results because this game is just so broken. Bros, this is actually ridiculous. I used a mod to give me a 99 manager rating and I'm still getting sacked. I hate this game so much. Oh, why do I continue to play it day in and day out? Please just keep me in the Premier League. Please keep me in the Premier League. Please, please, no, nope, QPR. I don't know how we're gonna do this. I, I really don't know how we're gonna end up doing this. I can't see the top goal scores anymore. I have to control QPR, like there's, I don't know what else I can do. I'm sorry for complaining, but what else am I supposed to do? Like the season's even over too. Ugh, I'm so annoyed. All right, well, let's just do what we can. For, well, you know, it's not gonna work too, is it? It's not gonna work, it's get, well, it actually does. All right, for whatever reason, we get, the correct number of points here. Southampton finished dead last. What in the hell? 17 points. That is that is ridiculous, man. How is this team ninth in real life, but 20th in real life in FIFA? Wow. All right. I mean, the only part about this is now top goal scores. Can I even look at the Premier League? Maybe. Please, 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 please. I can't. I can't. I can look at the FA Cup, though. So... What do we base this? Let's do the Champions League since both teams are going to be in the Champions League. Let's base the... This is going to be the goal scoring at least off of the Champions League. So their top goal score, one goal. Shane Long gets one goal. Like, yeah. I, I, I wanted to do this based off all competitions, but we're just not going to be able to if I just can't finish a full season with this Southampton team. All right. Well, if they finish dead last in the Premier League, FA Cup probably isn't going to be the same. Like, we're just going to start... Oh my God, Leeds United making it to the final. Shout out to Leeds United. All right, let's find out where Southampton lost because they're definitely going to have lost. All right, this is going to take me a minute to find them. Hold up. So they tied 2-2 to Birmingham in round three. They're forcing them to play a replay, which they won 3 now. So on to round four. Southampton, how have we done? Where are you at? 2-0 lost to Fulham. So a round four exit. Their top goal scorer had one goal. The Premier League is in 20th place. I mean, 
the next team's just gonna blow them out of the water what's up next champions league which we don't we don't even gotta hype it up man they have i guarantee you they haven't finished their group i guarantee you they haven't won a single game and that they have it last place in group stages all right i'm done with this team this original southampton team let's just hope we don't get sacked with the new team of old players so let's go sim the season there and get our actual result before that though here's just the updated look at the table right here so literally just what i said oh ridiculous 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 20th place one goal for the top goal scorer last in the group in the champions league and round three loss in the FA Cup. Oh my God, this team, terrible, absolutely terrible. And I guess before we end it here, well, no, we can't even look at the final team. What am I saying? Because we weren't managing it. All right, I'm done. Let's go. Let's uh, sim the next season with um, Van Dyke, Mane, Bale, all those guys. Oh my God, it's a miracle. We haven't been sacked. Thank the Lord. I have, oh my God, like this game just makes me so frustrated. Let's just see how much better this team did right here in the next attempt with the best players currently that um, are still in the game that used to play for Southampton. Here we go, Premier League, where did they finish? We will start from the bottom and work our way up towards the top and they're not in 20th. So that's a good start. They are hopefully gonna be in the top 10. They are in the top 10. All right, here we go. Not ninth. We're just gonna work our way up slowly here, boys. Not eighth, not seventh, not sixth. They are fifth, though. Okay, fifth place is not bad. You know what? For Southampton, I think that's a pretty, pretty strong finish. Fifth place, the I want to say the best they've ever done in the Premier League. I'm not sure what their best finish was in um, Division One before it became the Premier League in England, but I want to say that's their best ever finish in the Premier League. Please say I'm right in saying that. I can look it up really quickly. Yes, in the Premier League era. That is their best finish ever. So there you have it. Fifth place, they were able to do it. If they wouldn't have sold all their best players, that is where they would have been. Next up, we move on to the FA Cup, where round three, they, all they need to do is beat round three, or no, round four is where they lost last time, I think. Did I get that wrong? Yeah, round four is where they lost last time. My bad, I'll have to update that in the poll, because I, I think I said round three. No, round four, they have advanced to round four yet again where they are advancing now to round five here we go boys it's starting to get interesting fulham who beat them at the last time at the fa cup they beat them here on to round six quarterfinals they are just getting the easiest draws right now beating swansea onto the semis beating wolves oh my god look who they're playing in the final it's liverpool southampton oh my god boys is this actually coming true southampton who has so many current liverpool players on it right now Van Dyke, Mane, Lalana, Oxlade Chamberlain, Lovren. Will they have beat them in the final? Of course they don't. Oh my god, even with all of those players who left Liverpool and moved to Southampton, they couldn't do it. But it's a second place finish. Like, you can't complain about that. Insane stuff from Southampton. Have they ever won the FA Cup? That is one that I'm gonna have to look up. FA Cup? Um... I'm not sure. Guys, let me know. Comment section. Have they ever won the FA Cup? Or what's their best finish ever in the FA Cup? Maybe I can see it. Now. Sorry, I'm, see, I'm looking at all this website and there's just a lot of numbers. You know what? Let's just move on. Um, let's move on. Let's save the Champions League for last, actually. Let's go top goal scorers. So what we will do here is just look at their top goal score. Unfortunately, we couldn't do this with the last attempt because we got sacked. It's Tadic, though. 40 games, 19 goals. Surprising, man. You would expect Mane to be up there. But he's not. One thing that let this, let this team down is that they didn't have a world-class striker. And another thing was they did not have a great goalkeeper either. So since we're tracking Champions League goals, let's see player stats. Their top goal scorer in the Champions League is going to be... That's the Europa League. What am I doing? Champions League top goal scorer. Do you even get to see a Southampton player on here? That is not good. Let's go. Let's go look right here um team stats southampton where are we at so much clicking to do right here southampton perfect top goal scorer okay it's Mane with three goals and i don't know if that was good or bad that they'd only played six games so that's gonna mean an early exit from the champions league let's see they definitely haven't won group stage they still finished last that is crazy fifth place in the prem 
but couldn't make it out of one of the easiest groups in the Champions League. And here are going to be the final results. It's a little weird, man. I'm not going to lie. Like, we have crazy differences in the Premier League, crazy differences in the FA Cup, same result in the Champions League, and I guess because of that, it equated to being a similar uh, top goal score. Only three for Mane, one for Shane Long. What do you guys think about this? I think it has a lot to do with FIFA 20 just not being a good game in terms of career mode. Those are your results. Do you want to continue seeing the series? If so, which teams should we do next? Southampton was recommended in the past few episodes, so let's keep that trend up. Who do you guys want to see? Comment section, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and um, catch you guys later. Peace.